Hey everybody, it's Essence Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we talk about anything and everything here. This is going to be just a quick um, little haul video. Just a few things um, that I picked up over the last few days, last week. I don't remember, but I'm going to... This I know I picked up yesterday is just this folding stool. Plain, simple thing I got from Target. Um, but I bought this because when I do my hair, um, I'm always standing and my arms get tired and I get tired of standing. So I was like, let me get a little stool. That was the reason for that. Um, I did go to red, white, and blue. I don't remember the days. There's some things going on and my mind is everywhere. But the first thing I picked up was this Brahmin bag I got for $25. It wasn't on sale and I think somebody must have been clearing out their Brahmin collection because there were quite a few Brahmin bags but this was really the only one that I liked that was more my style it's just this like brown kind of ostra alligator maybe it's the Brahmin it's Brahmin I, I mean I don't really know you know if you know you know yeah it was $24.99 it wasn't on sale but I figured for the bag itself that was worth $25 I did also go to Target because I was getting no 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 this isn't Target where did I get this from was this Target no Walmart because I went looking for something else and I found just these two things um these Sophia Vergara these little shorts I thought they were really cute they're a little bit big but I wanted that because I didn't want them to be really short so but I just like the print and the color in them and I also bought this dress, which I think is also, no, this is free assembly. It's really cute. I got this also in a larger size because when I did actually try it on, I had some clothes on and um, I wanted to make sure that it fit. But it's just a really long, not a long, but it just probably comes up to the ankle little skirt. The shorts were 20 this dress was 34 I know before anybody says anything to me I know it's Walmart I don't really I haven't I'm not a Walmart shopper but I went in there to try to find a couple of things they didn't have it at that location so I was like let me look to see what they have and I would not have normally bought this for $34 or even the shorts for 20 but I was like I really like them they're cute this is just a dress it does button up in the front it also has pockets it's really cute on at least I think I don't even know because I didn't try I tried it on in the store but I didn't look at myself in the mirror but it just looks like this and that's the back it does have a belt um functioning pockets on the top and then it does have uh, pockets on the side so I just thought they were both were really cute definitely something I can wear now Okay, so back to red, white, and blue. I picked up, I've been wanting some jelly bags because the Coach jelly bags, I really think they're cute, but I'm not willing to spend that. <laughs> so this was one that I found. This was $12.99 and this was blue tag, so it was 50% off. Um, I will more than likely take this strap off and maybe get a different kind of strap. I'm not quite sure, but it just looks like this on the inside. So that's two bags to add to the collection. Oh, here's the inside of the Brahmin bag because I did have it stuffed with those clothes. Just, if you know, I, this is probably, I think this is my first Brahmin, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. So it looks like it also had a strap to it and it does, and the strap isn't wasn't there, but I would more than likely carry it this way just because of the size. So yeah, that's that. Oh, I did also go to Red, White, and Blue, and I went to Second Avenue. So this is a mixture of the stuff that's in the bag. I bought this little white erase board because I saw this person, somebody I was watching on YouTube was doing like a declutter, and she was like writing things down, and as she was completing it, she was crossing it off. I was like, I need that because I do, I tend to do that if, I, if there's something that I'm thinking about I want to do, I don't. I think if I write it down on something like this, and as I do it, it could just go shoot, shoot, shoot. So, this was just, excuse me, it was a dollar ninety nine. 
Next is this little, this is red, white, and blue. It's a little Lauren Conrad um, little jumpsuit, jumper, pants. It does have a belt on it. They're like wide leg, wide leg. It's like a ribbed design. This was on, was this on sale? Well, this is new with tags. It came from Kohl's and it was $58 at Kohl's. Red, white, and blue was $14.99, but it was a blue tag. So blue was either 50 or 75% off. I don't really remember, but I know blue was a sale color. Next is this dress. This is red, white, and blue. I believe white was also 50% off. This is by Venus. It's navy blue, um, strapless. It's just a simple little dress that has the rouging on the side. It's kind, it does, it is long. There's the bottom. So this, depending on how it fits, this would either be, this will more than likely be something that I would wear in the house. Um, I am trying to get myself together with working out, but until then, I know something like this, I would feel more comfortable wearing around the house, which I don't mind because I like having stuff that I could just change into when I come home from work, get out of my work clothes and get into something comfortable. You guys know this was Second Avenue. I am picking up a lot of like um, African printed pieces. So I did find this skirt. It's just like a short kind of like A-line skirt. Um, this one doesn't have pockets. It does have a zipper in the back. Looks like that. This was $4.99. Yeah, $4.99. I don't think it was on sale. No, because I think silver was a sale color at 2nd Avenue. This is another 2nd Avenue piece. This is Dress Barn. It's just like a short jacket. So, a lot of people probably know about like the shrugs that a lot of people were wearing years ago when you're wearing a maxi dress or something. This I got because I liked the fact that it has a dressier look. So, if I'm going somewhere and I have, I have a couple of jumpsuits black jumpsuits that are a little bit more formal, then I can just kind of wear this on top. Um, again, it's by Dress Barn. There's no pockets, but I just like the way that it, it it's, I just like the, the, the style and the look of it. It has a more dressier look. That's that. I picked up this from Red, White, and Blue. This is a little, it's like a workout, it's a workout dice. So it has 12 different exercises and it just says like mountain climb, 15 mountain climbers, one minute wall sit, 10 burpees, 25 crunches. So you just roll the dice to figure out what your workout is going to be. And you can do multiple ones at the same time. So I thought this was kind of fun because sometimes, you know, we don't always know, at least some of us, or my, myself, I'll speak for myself. I don't always know like what kind of workout to do. And I don't always want to do the same thing because after a while you kind of get tired of doing the same thing. So I figured I'd try that out. This is another African printed top. This was $6.99. Just looks like this. This, I don't know how it's going to fit. And I'm not sure. <laughs> it's cute. I really like the colors in it. Um, I think I have stuff to go with this. But the only thing with this is like the reason why I know that it's very cheaply made. So I have to figure out one, how I'm going to wash this. for some Because for some reason I feel like it's going to bleed. So I might need to do it with like black or something. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to bleed. But anyway, um... Yeah, I don't remember what I was saying, but this is the top. A lot of this thread is loose, and mm, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that. I wasn't, I'll just say that. Uh, second Avenue things I picked up is a photo album. I have a box of photos, like the 4 by 6 and I just needed an album. I did buy one of the bigger ones off of you, uh, uh, Amazon, but I'm kind of like, mm. I don't know if I really like it now. So <laughs> I just bought this one and it just says photographs on the inside. But this was $3.99. It wasn't on sale, but you know. I don't know why I bought this. This was $2.99. It's like fold up drink holders. So you can put like probably water or 
if you want to do probably like a little alcoholic drink and it just has a little spout on the top this was $2.99 it was 50% off because it's silver um yeah I don't know y'all I don't know I bought this small tripod um I do have a camera I have the Sony ZV-1 I think it's called but I haven't used it yet I've been mostly recorded on my phone, but I figured I'd get this for when I do start using my camera a lot more. This was $2.99. Um, I think, yeah, that's probably just as far as it goes, but I do feel like I want to get something that'll be some, you know, good for recording on a table so I don't have to stack things underneath it to do what I need to do. I kind of am into, but not really, but diamond art so i found this one this was 249 i just kind of went in the second avenue not really wanting to look at the clothes i wanted to look at everything else because when it comes to second avenue i just kind of feel like um i don't know i don't always make out and i gotta be in the mood i think so a co-worker of mine just had a baby and so we're trying to play in a baby shower so i just picked up different things for the baby shower this was $249 and then I got two. This one I think I'll probably use more because this was a little cutout. It's 12 pieces. They were both $249. It says it's a boy. She had a boy. So it's just got like giraffes, a little diamond um baby and mommy elephant, stuff like that. I think I might use that one. I also picked up this reusable mesh stencil sheets. I think in my mind, I was like, oh, I might do some DIY projects, but I probably won't. It was $2.49. Then, I got this necklace. This was $3.99, but it was 50% off. thought this was really cute. I feel like I do have a lot or a couple necklaces just like that, but y'all know. I picked up this Always Kiss Me Goodnight sign. This was $3.99, but it was 50% off. And then I picked up this Welcome to My Happy Place sign. So this was $4.99. And while I like the sign, I don't really like this part of it. And I want to have something for either my little reading corner or um, I know we are going to be looking to move maybe within the next year or so so i wanted to get something like this so if i have a little corner to myself or a little area in the back in their backyard because i really want a house then maybe i could hang it up there but it was 4.99 it was 50 percent off and i just figured i could do something with it whether i take all of this stuff off or just leave it on i just thought it'd be something different and cute um and then the last thing from there was this picture this was $5.99 it was 50% off because it was silver I don't know about anybody else but I do feel like I'm not the only one do you have like an area or a room in your house that you just didn't give any attention to so it's just kind of like blah boring and like whatever if you don't that's great but I do we have a um our guest bathroom it's so like, ugh, and I don't know what to do with it. And our guest room is kind of the same way. Um, but I don't know. So I figured, let me try to get some art and put that on the wall. And maybe that'll help me with even more decor pieces. So I picked this picture up and I figured maybe it'll go well in the bathroom. It's kind of our bath, our guest bathroom is like a gray color. Um... Yeah, so I don't I don't know. I don't know. It was $5.99. So even if it doesn't work out in the bathroom, I know I can find this place, you know, somewhere or else in the house. So that's everything that I bought. The next couple of things, I was at my cousin's house the other day for a barbecue, and she's trying to like do things and get her house together too. I guess it's that season for people. So I always get stuff from her, like especially wall decor pieces because she'll buy stuff and she'll be like, I don't know, I don't really like it. I'm like, it's cute. I can do stuff with it where she's very specific of what she wants. So the first piece she gave me was this one. I think this was from Home Goods. So it's like a silver frame and then it's like a, that blue flower in the center. It has like a little matte look on it. 
So she gave this to me because she, I don't remember when she said she bought it, but she didn't like it and she couldn't, she said she couldn't figure out where she could put it. And I was like, well, I'll figure out a spot because even if I don't have a spot right now, I'm a, I'm a figure out a spot. <laughs> and then she gave me these two pieces, which more than likely will go in our guest bathroom. So it's just this piece here. I don't know. I think that's upside down. So it's like this piece here and this piece here. So I think they'll go really well in the guest bathroom. And that is everything that I bought or was given over the last couple of days. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. I hope you guys enjoy like comment and subscribe i have not bought any purse any coach bags in a while i'm taking i'm putting myself on another band um i've been on a book buying band for since april so i've been doing really well with that i'm happy and i need to put myself on a shopping band i really really do i know i've said it before and i'm gonna try i'm gonna try i'm gonna try um but my birthday is next month and i normally go thrifting on my birthday and i usually go to at least two to three stores so we'll see but yeah that's it i hope you guys again i hope you like this video like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next one if you have any ideas or, or any kind of video that you would like me to do let me know down below and i'll do my best to carry out your request okay see you guys in the next one bye